have released a new pack called Vectron FX or Vectron Tools, which contains uh, displacement, uh, dust, ocean, rain, and other tools. So let's see how we can install that. Uh, the first thing is to locate your Machina OSL folder and copy that. And you need to copy that in your uh, Cinema 4D uh, Octane plugin folder. So here, res OSL script and just paste it here. Then you need to restart Cinema 4D and you should have it right here. So you, when you create a Vectron object, script category, Machina, and for example, um, let's open the ocean. And here you have your ocean. So let's just add some light. And apply a, a specular mater material. And here you go, you have your ocean. Um, now it's really white because we need um, a floor. And here you go. You can animate the ocean too. As you can see, you can change different things. Uh, this uh, iteration ray march is going to uh, make it more photorealistic by adding more waves, but of course it's going to take more time to render. So I recommend you just to play with this, uh, all different settings. And if you mess up something like, let's try to mess this up by random changing um, all different parameters. Okay, this is kind of messed up. You can go in script group and reset and compile. So you get back to the default settings. Um, let's have a look at the different, uh, sorry, oh, at the different uh, presets. So we have displacement camera. Let's open this. And what this creates is basically a displacement based on the texture color. So if you go in your OSL camera, here object octane camera tag OSL, uh, you see that we are running a script and you can uh, select a texture and it's going to apply a displacement as you can see. This uh, script is not perfect, uh, we, we plan to update it with uh, more features because it, at the moment it doesn't support a grayscale image, but it's pretty cool, especially with the rain, you get a nice effect. The next one is Vectron Dust. This is really useful, I keep using this um, for fractal scene because it's very cheap and doesn't take much time to render in a scene and you don't have to worry about geometry and polygons. So basically it's just a vector object with, uh, of course, with the dust script. So if you have to create this from scratch, just create a new vector and navigate to Machina and then uh, you will find it vector dust. This is also really simple to use. You have different settings. Like the mirror distance is basically the density of the dust, which the dust is basically small particles, small spheres, uh, which are being distorted by the noise. And it's very cheap and I totally recommend to use this one. You can also create um, a gradient in the material. So you get some emission from the particles and with the gradient and the right pro projection, which is spherical, you can get different colors on uh, all the particles. You see there's some color variation and this is, uh, you can animate this too. It doesn't loop yet, but you can create uh, 
moving particles basically. The next tool is a camera tool and it's called Kaleido camera. You can open the scene here or just apply that to your project. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use this preset from uh, Vectron Pack 4. And we have a really nice fractal here. Maybe. Okay, that's faster. And let's say we want to apply the kaleidoscope camera to this scene. So now we are using the normal camera. Everything is as normal as it could be with fractals. And to apply the script, you just have to select your camera and switch the camera type from fine lens to OSL and then navigate to Machina and Camera Kaleido. And as you can see, you can change the segment number. And of course, when you move the camera, let me show you from here, you uh, change the offset center of the Kaleido effect and same with the rotations. So it's pretty cool to get a nice animation when you just zoom in, but also, let's say, move the camera around. Of course, you can do this in After Effects or any other software, but it's, it's handy to have it inside Octane. Next, we have Vectron Tools Plane Displacement. So this sounds really simple, like something you don't need. And it, that could be the case, actually. But for if you are using fractals or SDF uh, shapes with um, Octane Vectron, this is really useful. So I've already opened the project, and this is what you get. So it's a simple uh, Gaia uh, displacement map which you can change here. You can just load the hate map. And, but there are some transformation on the, on the plane. In this case, uh, we have a wave transform. So you can animate this and warp the plane uh, basically in real time because we are not dealing with the polygons. Let me show you the wire. See, you don't have any polygon here. And it's pretty handy. Another cool thing you can do is um, interpolate the displacement with the Vectron object. So let's create a sphere, for example. Okay, and then we can use uh, 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 operators like union, put the vector on displacement under the vector operator, uh, operator, and you have a smooth, let me delete this, okay, and you have a really smooth interpolation between the two, so you can move the sphere around, And of course, you can do the same with the fractals. Uh, with background operators, you can also change the radius. And the material too. So you can apply another material to the sphere and it will be um, keep kept. Pretty nice. Uh, we will, of course, add more transformation to the displacement here because this is like a demonstration that this can work. You can also loop. We have also room mapping, uh, which is a tool we created because we needed and decided to share it. Uh, basically, when you have situations where you need to map the entire room and you need uh, a render for 
each different side, like here, this is really common for exhibitions. Uh, you, you can actually use just a, a spherical 360 camera, but I found out this is way better. So um, the way it works, um, there was a fractal, so a big fractal, you can see that here. And you just need to create the camera. Let me show you. Okay. And in the OSL uh, camera type here, you have all different options. So you can set up the resolution. And this is basically the room resolution. So the size, the width and the height. And you can just change the side. So you have the back, left, right, and top and bottom of course so it's really handy because you just use this camera and you get um, a render for each side the last tool for today is called Vectron Rain and you can simply add that to your scene by going to object Vectron and Machina Vectron Rain you should see, oh, here we have it. You should, should see this blob of uh, sphere. You can change the bound. And to get it working, uh, let's say properly, you need to change the drop radius based on your needs. And you can play with the rain density too. So if you add a camera, you can also get motion blur, so enable that, and here you have it. So of course I, I I've chosen the wrong uh, HDRI because it's it's sunny, extremely sunny on the beach. But anyway, and then you can create a, a specular material with some roughness. So it looks better. And you can still uh, change the random intensity, the speed fall suggestion for uh, new Vectron tools, just reach out to Machina and we will be really happy to, to add new tools. Uh, we are just looking for new ideas. It's all these tools are really powerful because you don't have to mess around with geometry and they don't have a big impact on your memory so it's a win-win situation 